Here we go. <laughs> We're at it again. Yeah, I got messages coming in, as you can hear, from people that know a bit more about what's going on, who've been going, oh my God. Yes, yes, yes. I'm I'm still wearing my T-shirt from yesterday, and because I can't be asked to change it, and it it sums up my mood very well. Hello, Wiltshire Police. Fuck you, Wiltshire Police. Fuck you again. And again. Fuck you. Very much. Yes. You haven't heard some of the stuff that's been going on behind the scenes. I've specifically kept it off the channel for a reason right there is a very good reason okay and when certain court cases take place when all that's out the way then i'll talk about it right there's a very good reason okay but let me tell you something that happened i can tell you this right I had a phone call today from an old friend. But they're never really your friends, are they, the police? Never really your friends, are they? Yeah. My old friend. Roz Haddon. Is that a name you're familiar with? It's a name I can't get out of my friggin' head. For a very specific reason. That this is the officer who was in charge of... Three or four officers come into my house at about three o'clock in the morning. Boot, boot in my door. Boot, boot, boot in my door. Boot in my door. Where is he? Where is he? All the neighbours came out. What's going on? Police cars, officers, kicking doors, 3am in the morning. You'd think it was a freaking ma mass murderer in the house or something. And what was all this over? Some comments that had been made on a phone message. Yeah? Yeah. That's it. Yeah? Some unsavoury comments on a phone message. Boot in the fucking door at 3am in the morning. Neighbour, who's a police officer, told them, I'm not in. My car's not there. My dog is not barking. We're not home. That did not... That did not disperse the police they still wanted to keep kicking the door and they were i'm not they're not having it no they're not having it they were on a fucking adrenalized mission that night so eventually they gave up hang on let me just pick this thing up off the floor i've just dropped eventually they gave up until six in the morning when they came back again kick in the door come out come out we know you're in there come out it's like a scene out of a fucking movie, right? I mean, like, uh, I hate to, to break it to you, Roz, but you got my fucking... Do you know what this is, Roz? Have you ever seen one? Do you know what this is? Oh, of course you do, because you rang me on one, didn't you? You rang me. And guess what? Your number comes up on my screen. Hmm. I've had a few phone calls today, but... Uh, there we are. Let's make sure he doesn't show anybody's numbers, right? But there it is. Police Ros Haddon. Your number's stored in my phone. So you know how to ring me. Weird that, isn't it? You know how to ring me. In fact, the police have always known how to ring me. Because I've had phone calls in just the most unexplained circumstances. Like, how the hell have they got hold of my number... You know, oh, but they know, they know, they know. They know my car registration, they got my telephone number, they know where I am, and they know what I'm doing. They've even been in and had my computer equipment over the years, I think about three times, something like that. And they still seem to want to go and have, have a pop, you know, like, oh, what can we get him? What can we do? What can we do? You know, how can we, how can we wind him up? How can we harass him? Well, you can wind me up, but I'm just going to shame you for what you do publicly on this fucking channel. So, here's how it, here's how it goes. 
right? Am I actually recording? Oh, yeah, it is recording. Yeah, um, these things are always very off the cuff. They're never very well um, prepared. Why should they be? I'm just telling you what is happening. So anyway, the time is now three o'clock. I The reason is this time is because I've had to put a number of police complaints in. Well done, Roz. <laughs> well done. So has a police complaint gone into um, the City of London Police? Right. And why am I complaining to them? Well, this was the, 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 the subject of um, Roz's call, which I'll come to. But I'm also complaining to Wiltshire Police because Roz Haddon should not have called me. OK, she should not have called me. Why? Because there already is a police complaint about Roz Haddon and the behaviour of the force in relation to what went on with coming to my house at 3am in the morning. Yeah, so it's already a complaint out. Now, conflict of interest? Bing bong, bing bong, yeah. Roz tells me she didn't know anything about the complaint against her. Well, you fucking well do now, don't you? If you didn't, somebody should have told you. And they should have taken you off the case, which is standard practice. You get removed off the case and they give it to somebody else. Yes or no? Am I correct there or not? Yeah? So, that clearly never happened. So you didn't get taken off the case. So is there a complaint in? Or has that been, has that been swept under the carpet? Because... I complained not only to the police themselves, I complained directly to the chief constable. Two complaints to get this thing moving, yeah? And when I complained and explained what had been going on, my stuff was re returned very quickly. And I got to meet Ros Haddon in person as she handed my stuff back. Yes, yes. Remember, I put it on the channel. I filmed myself getting the stuff brought back. Because I'm that pissed off, I took a camera into the police station and they were not, ooh, they were not happy about that because they like to film you and interview you and arrest you. But, oh, no, you're not allowed to film them or interview them or even arrest them. Oh, yes. See, they don't like it up them, but they like to stick their hands up people's asses with gloves on. And they like to put it up you, but you're not allowed to put it up them. Well, I am putting it up them, OK? Because here, here, I'm going to play Roz's little conversation I had with her now. Right? Here's the thing. Yeah. It's a busy, it's a busy hotline today. Everybody's getting to hear about what's been going on behind the scenes. So the troops are rallying. Oh, yes. The troops are rallying, folks. Yeah. So here's the thing. There was an incident... That took place. I've not discussed it on the channel. I've hinted at it, but there was an incident that took place in London, right? Involving a certain person who we shall not name, okay? Now, I made a report about this incident at the time, okay? It involved criminal behaviors, yeah? Um, what should I say here? It involved. Uh, criminality on a breaking and entering. Um, it involved assault. And it involved um, false allegations being made. Okay? So three things, okay, that this person has done. Okay? I reported that on the night it happened. Okay? So physical assault, breaking and entering, false allegations. Right? I reported that. And the City of London Police did have note of it because they rang me back and discussed certain items with me. But they've never taken a state statement from me. And this happened in the 30th of April. Right? And they've never taken a statement from me. And it's never been, been progressed. Okay? But this is me, folks. Okay? So, you know, when I make a complaint to the police, it doesn't always get listened to. Sometimes it gets torn up and thrown away you know this is me okay but the other person 
put a complaint in that he'd been assaulted and now that's going through and now I've got to speak to none other than Bing Bong Ros Haddon and you know what I told her? Fuck right off in so many words I didn't use those words but that's what was going through my head is you can right off yeah because there's no way that she should be dealing with this case so I've had to put a complaint into Wiltshire Police now saying you know my complaint about Wiltshire Police and Rod ha Ros Haddon oh I now have to complain complain that my complaint hasn't moved this person away from dealing with me hello and we can't have the complaint processed and heard until a certain court case has finished when that court case has finished which involves the activities of a certain said police officer then they can be investigated for the complaint which I'm pretty sure there will be some elements upheld because you do not send officers out to kick people's doors at 3am in the morning for petty matters these are petty 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 matters yeah but apparently that's what you do but it was all to an end because really what they wanted to do was get in there and get my stuff and what did they get they got lenses and they got old cameras which i don't even use for anything that i film most of the time with they got nothing they got old hard drives just loads i got shit loads of hard drives. i don't even know what's on half of these bloody i got hard drives I got hard drives, I got hard drives, I got hard drives, I got about 55 hard drives in boxes around you. They took several. Why those seven? Why not the rest? What's so special about these seven? Why not take them all? Surely you're looking for evidence? Well, if the evidence is sitting there in droves, why have you only taken a fraction of it? It's lying all around the place. And you only take a fraction of it. They didn't take they didn't take computers. They were computers. You'd think they'd take computers. They might have data on them. No, nope, didn't take those. Boosh! Really? So what were they after? Maybe they wanted to check out the camera gear I was using. Maybe they're maybe they're interested in photography or something. I don't know. What what do you reckon it is? Maybe Maybe they wanted some sort of like, you know, some sort of like hot tips on new, on lenses or something. Oh, that's a good one, isn't it? God, look at that. Look, ooh, ooh, look, it goes like that. Ooh. Yeah. What exactly did they want? Yeah. Anyway, I'm digressing. If you want to watch the full explanation of that, there's a video called Listed. Hang on, I'll show you. It's called Listed Wilt Wiltshire Police. Look seizure of items from my house right and it's pretty good because it starts off like this how many times have you searched my house right it's getting a bit obvious now isn't it yeah what you do to me and the harassment that i receive is getting a little bit obvious isn't it yep <laughs> That's the video. That's the one you want to watch. That's the one you want to watch. Anyway, right, let's come back to the uh, important points. Okay? Um, I record all my calls, especially with the police, because uh, they will deny whatever they can fucking deny. Yeah? And they will take everything you say, edit it so it makes you seem like a twat, and use it against you. Yeah? That's the how they work. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, as I pointed out to uh, Mrs. or Miss Haddon when she called, right, there was no way I was going to play their game this time and give them a comment. Okay, but I will come in. I will come in because that will make sure that I've given them what they want. But you know what they'll do? They'll arrest me anyway, even though they'll arrest me anyway. <laughs> Just so they can come round my house and take loads of stuff again. So don't worry, Roz. Don't worry. I'll take all my good gear out of here when you come. Okay? I'll make sure there's nothing here for you. All right? 
All right, love? Yeah? Fuck you. Yeah? Two can play at that game. Love. Yeah? Two can play at that game. Seriously. Yeah? No. I don't appreciate people coming around my house and taking irrelevant, stupid items that have nothing to do with the matter in hand. Yes? Because if this incident happened in London, yeah, and it happened on a street with a person, there should be no reason for you to come in and fucking ransack my house. But you'll probably want to, because this is what you are like, isn't it? Rosy Ros. Mrs. or Miss or Ms. Haddon. Yes? And that's why... I said to you, I'm going after your job because you are not doing a very good job, yeah? In my opinion, you should not be engaging with me considering everything that has gone on so far. You should not be engaging with this at all. In fact, you should, by this point, have been moved off the case. And that's what my police complaint is about to Wiltshire Police. So anyway... I'm now going to play you my conversation, which started off politely, but quickly developed into how I'm feeling right now. Because had it been a nice police officer, trust me, I'm very polite with the police, right? But when it comes to somebody like this, who, in my opinion, is only ringing me to wind me the fuck up because they definitely shouldn't be ringing me, it worked. I'm wound up. So here's the phone call with Roz, so you can have a little listen. Hmm. Oh, right, hello. Hello. Um, I'm calling in relation to a report made to City of London Police. Um, an allegation has been made that you've assaulted somebody. Uh, they've passed it over to us to investigate. Um, and so I need you to come in for an interview. I'm just going to see when you will be available. Well, that's absolutely charming, uh, considering I reported the exact same thing about being assaulted to City of London Police, and they done absolutely sod all with it. So it's funny how yet again I'm speaking to you, and yet again you seem to be very interested in me, and yet when it comes to me complaining about people, nothing's done. But when it's me, it's, hello Mr Williams, we need to have a word with you. But somebody, somebody, somebody well, physically, somebody physic, physi physically assaulted me in London, and I reported it, and nothing has happened. They haven't even taken a statement. They're not interested in it. So how come you're coming to me, but they won't come to me? So do you know what I'm going to say this time, Roz? Yes, I'll come and see you. You know what you're going to get this time? No comment, which is what I should have done last time. Yeah, because do you know why? Because you're not interested in what's good for me. You're only interested in fucking me over. So yes, when do you when do you want when do you want to meet me, Roz? I will come and say no comment. Okay, when are you free? Whenever. Alright, would you be free next Friday? Friday. Next Friday evening, that would be the fifth. Why does it have to be you, Roz? been allocated to me that's why bollocks sod off give me another officer it's not being you i've already got a complaint in about you this is bullshit this okay. this is just harassment roz this is just nothing but harassment okay you shouldn't be dealing with this this is complete bullshit hand it to somebody else otherwise you're going to get in trouble for this Roz, you shouldn't be anywhere near it. I've got a bloody complaint in about you. Well, I know nothing about that complaint, so... Um... The, pl the complaint cannot be handled until the case has been dealt with. Then the complaint oh. can go through. So now I've okay, informed right, you... Well, I'll just speak to my supervisor then and I'll get to reallocate this then, all right? Roz, so, uh, I'll, be, perfect, I'll be perfectly honest with you, right? I'll be perfectly honest with you. My complaint is that serious about you, right? I am going to be asking for your termination of your job. That's the way I feel about it, okay? So you shouldn't be dealing with it, really. Okay. Thank you. 
Okay. 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 He's my supervisor then. He's actually on night this week. Okay. Then, so I'll email him. Th- so thank you very much. I'd like I'd else. I'd like a, somebody else who doesn't send people round at three a.m. in the morning to people's houses that like the Gestapo. Decision. Really? That wasn't my decision. Okay. Well, anyway. That's that's what we're dealing with, Roz. Harassment okay, of me. Well, we'll let, okay. We'll let the, um, the professional standards department deal with that when uh, when it, it comes around to it. Yes, okay. we better had, hadn't right, we? And I'll, yeah. And I'll speak to my supervisor. And I'll get yeah. To somebody else. I really okay. think okay. that would be wise. I think that would be wise. Yes. Thank goodbye. You. Goodbye. So goodbye. Oh my fucking! Oh my life! Oh, I didn't know there was a complaint against me. I didn't know what your your sergeant hasn't told you to get off the case and give it to somebody else. Really? That's interesting, isn't it? Well, there's a breakdown of procedure. That's worthy of a complaint in itself, isn't it? Because, by Christ, you should not be dealing with this case. There is a complaint in about you. Move you off the case. You put somebody else on. What the fuck are Wiltshire police doing? Seriously. Sorry about the bad language, folks, but what the fuck are Wiltshire police doing? This is unprofessional. This is completely unprofessional. I used to work in the civil service. They dealt with criminal matters every single day. Right? They were taking people to court, they were fining people, they were bringing people, they had a cells, they brought people in, they arrested them. Job that was the job yeah i know a little bit about how this works and the one thing i know is once a complaint bang hits the mat yeah and is read that officer is taken off the case whilst it's investigated standard procedure throughout the civil service so it will also apply in the police unless wiltshire have rewritten the rules Like they have done many times in the past, I refer you to the case of the Battle of the Beanfield, where just going and smashing people's vehicles up and setting them on fire, as the police setting people's vehicles on fire, is apparently okay. I don't think anyone even lost their jobs over that, but... (laughs) Yes... Wiltshire police are a little bit of a wild bunch. It's like the Wild West round here, folks. It really is. I'm lucky. I'm lucky that I've actually had good legal representation. And I'm lucky that there are some police in the in Wiltshire police who actually see sense. Like the time that they said I ran a police officer over the bonnet of my car. Can you believe that? That sounds very serious, doesn't it? Yeah, that never happened. That never happened. That was dropped. Really, a very serious charge, that, isn't it? Dropped. Why? Because it didn't fucking happen. Lots and lots of things that I've been accused of over the years, just to fuck with me, yeah? You know, literally tracking me with my mobile phone. And finding me where I am and fucking, boom, having harassment. Why do you think I turn the fucking thing off when I go and do stuff these days? Why do you think? Why do you think? Because they know where I am. They fucking don't like me. They don't like what I do. They probably watch this channel. There's the stuff I've done with Rudlow Manor. You know, know, I'm not on a very fucking favourable, happy, happy holiday, you know, list with the police. But nonetheless, I do try where possible to be civil. But this crosses the line. Roz Haddon calling me today. The reason I was so rude to her, and you might say, oh, Matt, Matt, that's a bit salty. Ooh, 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 shouldn't talk to police officers like that. No, that crosses the fucking line in the sand. That crosses the fucking line. I mean, you you can you come in my house, you take my shit, you fucking take stupid shit, then you're forced to give it back because it's obvious you what you fucking do. You come at 3 a.m. in the morning kicking the fucking doors. You accuse me of things I haven't done. And I'm still, still trying to be fucking reasonable with you, yeah? And sensible, yeah? When I get people like this ringing me going, I didn't know there was a complaint against me. Well, you need to fuck off out of the police force then. And whoever is your boss needs to fuck off also. Because you don't know what you're doing. And your boss doesn't know what they're doing.
I mean, I'm glad at the end of the conversation she said, oh, well, I better go and, and, and find out whether I should get another police officer. Because she knows that if it's true that there is a complaint in, that she shouldn't be doing it. She knows. She knows. So she withdraws. But still made the fucking phone call, though. I personally think she knew. They all know. They all know. They all act dumb. Like, oh, oh, Mr. Williams. Like, oh, I didn't know about that. Oh, but can you tell us about this? And they know everything. Yeah? They know everything. I've been driving in Wales, right? In my car with Matt, exploring with Matty, right? And Matty don't like the police, right? Matty don't like the police. So we weren't obliged to tell them who we were. So when we were stopped, I said, yeah. Because I'm the driver of the car, I told him who I was. Matty said, gave him a different name. Yeah. And they and they just looked at him and went, nah, you're Matt. Matt. And they gave him his name. Yeah. And we just went like this. What the fuck? So Matt is on a file along with me, along with Ray, Steve, Alex, Everybody I hang around with is on the fucking file. So ba 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 ba. They know. They fucking know. I I swear if I if I fucking fart too loudly in the toilet, there's probably a fucking a new line entry in the fucking log at the Wiltshire fucking police about what I'm up to. Right? They know fucking everything I'm up to. But to a certain degree, they tended years ago to leave me alone. But they don't fucking leave me alone now, so fuck them. You know, you want some fucking trouble? You'll have some fucking trouble. You want some fucking complaints? You want some fucking heads bounced? Yeah? Then you shall have some fucking heads bouncy, bouncy, bounced. Yeah? Because it's not going to fucking look good on you guys doing stupid shit like this. Really? Innocent mistake? Huh. I don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah, this is well noted now, okay? And I'm going to make sure that this gets dealt with not only from Wiltshire Police's point of view, but from City of London Police, yeah? And to little Mr Mysterio who's out there, this mystery character that you'd all love to know a lot about and love to hear the details of, as far as you're concerned, mate, yeah? <laughs> Your time's coming, sir. Yes, your time's coming. Oh, yes. And please don't take that as a threat. Because it's not. It is a statement of fact. You will be dealt with by the law and you will be found appropriately fucking charged and found guilty of what you deserve to be found guilty of. So, watch out, mate. Watch out. And if you've got any more tricks up your sleeve, got any more tricks up your sleeve, right? Bring them on, because we've already seen some. And like I say, you watching this, you've got no idea what's been going on behind the scenes. None, right? And I'm going to surprise you all one day with a video that is just going to make this look like somebody somebody urinating in their own cup of tea and drinking it. It's, it's going to be like, what the fuck is that? Yeah? It's going to be a right old charmer, that is. But watch this space, because that's going to be a good video for down the line. And it will be happening. And some people think that they're going to stop all this happening. All this is going to go away. <laughs> you got, you got a, you, you, are you fucking, are you living on the right fucking planet? You think, you think you're going to shut me down? You think you're going to shut me down? Fuck off. Happy days. And may you find plenty of secret fucking vaults.